so I did it. I finished uh, in about four and a half hours, which is not the greatest time, but I, did, I finished it. So. Good morning, everyone. I am here in Rada in Chianti, and tomorrow is the Grand Fondo Strade Bianche, and I've got a new rental, so I'm gonna give it a test run. It's a Pinarello, so it's my first one. I am super excited about it. So I'm pretty nervous about the ride. I did a lot of training this winter, but it's not as um, full of milestones that I would have liked to hit, but I think I'm better on hills for sure. I don't think I've lost fitness, so I think I can do the distance. It's just really the hill climbs are the... Oop. Sorry for that, the bells. So I'm hoping that uh, I, I can do the distance. I'm pretty sure I can. It's just the hill climbs that might kill me later. But I'm gonna do a short ride around here. So I'm gonna see how uh, it looks on the bike and see how the bike feels. I'm gonna do it in my casual clothes. Um, so not the most comfortable, but hopefully it'll work. So I made it uh, after a kind of a long trip down. Uh, it was uh, 31 kilometers uh, on my car, but it still took a while longer. Uh, so now I'm in the village and enjoying the swag and looking around. ride and then the Grand Fonda starts in about an hour. It is uh, below freezing this morning so we are a little rough. In. Uh, sorry I didn't get more shots, but uh, it was very aggressive out there. I didn't feel comfortable taking out my phone or my camera. Uh, so you can see this is the, the course about halfway through on my way to Siena.
I did it. I finished uh, in about four and a half hours, which is not the greatest time, but I, did, I finished it. Uh, all three climbs beat me, unfortunately. The first climb, I actually fell down and uh, I didn't hurt myself real bad. I was, it was a very slow fall. I was at the very top of the hill and I was like, yeah, I almost got it. And then slipped and fell on my back uh, with the bike right up in the air. It was kind of hilarious. And then the other two, I think I got uh, uh, mentally out of the picture. Uh, so just couldn't quite finish them, but, uh, but I did it. So I'm really happy about that. Right now I'm on my way back to uh, the, the van and uh, gonna drop off the bike, gonna get my jacket and gonna get my um, um, uh, shoes so I can walk normally. And uh, yeah, and just kind of relax. Cause it's very cold today. It was very cold. It was negative three when we started uh, degrees Celsius. So that's like 20 something degrees Fahrenheit. And oh my God, it was a rough start. And uh, now I'm at a calorie deficit and it's overcast. So, uh, so I'm just, I'm getting colder and colder. So I need my jacket. I'm probably gonna need coffee in a few minutes. Oh, hello, it's been about two weeks since the Strada Bianchi. I recorded another video, but it didn't work. There was something about the formatting that was all wrong. And, you know, I don't know what it, it is about GoPro. Sometimes it just does squirrely things. Uh, so I, I'm gonna do this conclusion sort of ad hoc uh, on my iPhone. And yeah, overall it was a good ride and instilled some good confidence in me. Um, and, uh, you know, I have some trepidation about doing other bike rides, but mostly because of hills. So I just need to practice a lot more. Um, yeah, but overall good ride. I'd like to thank the folks at Sagala Cycling. They really did a good job as a tour operator. They got me and my family down and we really had a great time. If it wasn't just so cold, I think that it would have been even better. Uh, all right, take care, you guys. Bye.